Day 19 on the O'Henro Trail started off a little differently. Last night I was in a fishing village down by the shore and the wind was howling and the rain was pouring. Didn't get much sleep as the wind was pounding the outside shutters and uh, just making lots of noise all night and clanging away. Uh, woke up, it wasn't rain, but it was really, really windy. Had to get up to the back up to the road from being down in the fishing village, a little two kilometer hike up. Uh, it was, especially on some corners, because it was the, uh, the morning walk was incredibly windy and being up on a ridge, the wind was swirling around a couple times, the wind uh, sort of blew me into uh, the road. There weren't many cars, so it was okay. Um, the trail a little scary when you drive a car on the windy roads and there's a cliff on the side, it's scary. Actually hiking next to the cliff gave me a little bit of vertigo and it seemed uh, even scarier. Uh, with the 88 temples and 20 banga, I have completed about a third of the temples that I will be hitting. Still have a ways to go, but making progress and just ticking off the kilometers and ticking off the uh, temples. Today, my only objective was to hit Bangai 5 and go a little bit beyond that. Uh, it was kind of, I didn't push myself last night when I made a reservation for tonight's uh, stay. It was either go really far or go a little bit shorter. Uh, it's hard to find sort of that perfect zone. And the innkeeper last night said, it's going to be shitty weather, just go a little bit shorter. And it was great advice because come around 11, the rain just started pouring down. So there's about three or four hours of just walking out in the rain. Uh, I found a Okonomiyaki restaurant for lunch. Uh, walking in there, a little freaked out by one tall guy jean, but a tall guy jean just dripping wet. Uh, but they accommodated me, and because I didn't have to put in the kilometers today, put in the miles today, I was able to have a leisurely lunch, power down one Okonomiyaki and still hungry, and power down a uh, yakisoba. It's also worth noting that though I did visit Bangai 5, Bangai 5 really wasn't worth visiting. It's kind of a plain temple in the city, really underwhelming, and almost everything was closed. I discovered something today. I went through about four or five tunnels. One was great with about 20 feet for pedestrians and bicycles, but uh, three of them were scary ass tunnels. Uh, one I noticed, I used my stick kind of as a measurement that it had two feet of space for pedestrians. And considering my shoulders are about two feet wide, that gave you an idea of how close I was to the cars whizzing by. Uh, the only thing scarier than a scary ass tunnel is a scary ass tunnel when it rains because the roads are slick and slippery. So you're two to three feet of space and the cars are on the other side of the white line and the road is wet. It just ups the scariness quite a little bit. I didn't videotape any of them because uh, it was pouring rain and my camera was in my bag and the only way to get my camera out would be to stop and unpack my bag inside the tunnel. And as I just pointed out, they were scary ass tunnels and I didn't feel like Know, trying to get out of my bag in the two to three feet of space I had inside my white line with cars whizzing by. Uh, so maybe when it is nice out one day, I will uh, get to videotape some more scary ass tunnels. I got soaked today and I also had to do my laundry and this is the first place I've had to do my laundry that didn't have a dryer. So that's what's all hanging up is my clothes from the day drying out and my laundry drying out. As I mentioned earlier, Kochi is few temples and a lot of miles, and this next stretch is where it really hits home. Here's a map, and as you can sort of see on the map, from Temple 36 to 37 is 57 kilometers, 37 to 38 is 96 kilometers, 38 to 39 is 60 kilometers, 39 to 40 is 29 kilometers, 40 to 41 is 50 kilometers. So many of these temples are a day or two or three away from each other. So uh, the next few days will mostly be walking and maybe hitting a temple or walk, walk, temple, walk, walk, temple. And that's what uh, lies ahead of me.